to the Voos, your wild and crazy uncut news station. Alrighty, out in London. Yeah, the London police say a second man has been arrested in connection with the London subway attack. Police said Sunday that a 20-year-old, no, 21-year-old man was arrested late Saturday night in Hornslough in the West London and is being held under the Terrorism Act. He is being questioned at a South London police station but has not been charged or identified. <laughs> Two men are now in custody for possible roles in the bombing attack on rush hour subway train Friday morning that injured 29 people in London. An 18-year-old man was arrested Saturday in the departure area of the port of Dover, where ferries leave for France. 18 years old, you're doing this, this, this blowing stuff up for, for like, for what, bro? You have like, um, like 70, 80 years to get right and to get yourself some, um, you know, some 72 versions, but come on. Um, two arrests indicate police and security services believe the attack at the Patterson's Green Station was part of a coordinated plot, not an act of a single person. So, um, it was set up and it was, um, premeditated. It wasn't just a, a single person that just went crazy and wanted to blow up and, you know, get some, you know, get some, um, points up and, you know, the heavens, whatnot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we are still, per um, we are still person numbers lines of equary and a great pace at a, and at a great pace, counterterrorism coordinator Neil Basu of the London Police said late Saturday. Um, so he said, um, we are still um, pursuing numerous lines of equerry at the at a great pace. So they're still like, you know, pursuing, you know, trying to get these terrorists off the streets. <clears throat> yeah, so Britain's um, threat level remains at critical, the highest level. Um, meaning that the authorities believe another attack is imminent. Um, the official threat level is not likely to be lowered until police believe all of the plotters have been taken into custody. So the threat level is, um, is at high. It's critical in Britain. <laughs> police on Saturday launched a massive armed search in the southwestern London suburb um, of Sunbury. Neighbors were evacuated in a rush from the area and kept away for nearly 10 hours before they were allowed to return to their homes. <clears throat> the Islamic State says the attack Friday was carried out by one of its affiliated units. The impoverished explosive device placed on the subway train only partially detonated, limiting the number of injuries. Oh, so it didn't go off fully, which is good, but people still got hurt. Um, Home Secretary Amber Rood said the casualties would have been far higher if the bomb had fully detonated. Frustrated by the string of terrorist attacks in recent months, she said officials will have to work harder to make bomb components more difficult to obtain. So now, um, they need, they said, um, well, she, Amber Rudd says we need to make, um, stuff by people to go buy the stuff to make a bomb harder to get. So you have more, you'll have to have more than just your ID just to get bomb materials. Um, um, Britain has endured four other attacks this year, which have killed a total number of 36 people. The other attacks in London near Parliament on London Bridge and near a mosque in 
Finsbury Park in North London used vehicles and knives to kill and wound. Um. Whoa. Yeah, so this is going to be... There's another attack. Attacks just keep going up uh, in London. So, um, they got the second guy in the in the attack, so... Everything's all Gucci. It's like... But it's crazy. They had, um, four attacks this year. There's always attacks going on over there. Always. It's like, a log bar. That place is filled with terror. They need to definitely, um... Do something about that over there and, you know, liberal love ain't cutting it. All right, everybody, um, please subscribe to my news channel, The Vu's News, and hit that notification bell because you never know when a video will get taken down. Vu's News signing out, and I love you all.